we are situated at FedEx Field. A few minutes ago, it sounded like the 4th of July on the National Mall as the hometown Redskins were introduced to this sold-out crowd. They are set to go as their guys will match up with the Detroit Lions. The final playoff push is upon us. It's week 12 of the NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. Fielded about a yard deep. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. Second year back from LSU, it's Darius Geis. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. Good job there keeping him to a short gain. Of course, he's coming off a really terrific performance, reigning NFC Defensive Player of the Week. And I know people get caught up in, well, if you're the reigning Defensive Player of the Week, hey, you must have made a bunch of spectacular plays. Like you mixed in a few of those, but most of the plays are just like we saw there. Keep them to short gains, make the fundamental tackle. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. An early tough test on the opening drive. This is third and eight. Third down, here's Haskins. Well, the two men come together, and it's incomplete. Excellent work defensively, brings up fourth down. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. to the 24. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Opening play, the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Now Stafford. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets them up for third down. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield, a really nice pickup. And the Redskins have an extra man to the secondary here on third. They'll run with a former Tar Heel, T.J. Logan. And able to 
get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It's a gain of 14 and a first down for Detroit. And that's a run that'll energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. First carry now for Kofrani Muhammad. He's got a first down and then some inside the 40. A big hitter there. A first down gain of 26 yards. So back-to-back -back big runs picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. They didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Good solid gain on first down, about what you'd expect from the big guy carrying the ball. From the 22, Jackson, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he had been able to haul that one in. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Look at me, zipper. From the gun, Stevens. This is caught. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, they're piecing together a nice drive to start this one. Seems pretty scripted and pretty successful so far. And I think they did it without our help. Because you remember when we sat in with the, in the production meeting with them to talk about this, and hey, you know, how you guys get... And he's going to take it in for a lion touchdown. Jesse James, his first touchdown on the year, as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Prater for the extra point, and that makes the score seven nothing. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. This one fielded at the five. Then he breaks it all the way out to the 38-yard line. Great return. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. And still a lot of football to be played in this season. We're only in November. A lot can happen between now and January. But if it ended today, they would just be on the outside of the playoff picture looking in. So a lot to fight for. Yeah, and wasn't it interesting in our meeting with, with the coaching staff that they all made sure to let us know, we know where we are right now, but the playoffs don't start tomorrow. We still got some time, and they plan on putting it together formulating a streak, got the whole month of December still left to play. They think they can get in. And they made it very obvious to us that there's no playoff talk in the locker room right now. It's win this game and look to next week. Excellent focus. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. On the draw, they go to Geis. A nice job to get eight there after the incompletion, and now they'll look at a third and two coming up. I thought that was a good call. Passing situation on second down. They hit him with the draw instead and pick up nice yardage. Yeah, because the draw, they're thinking pass when they see that initially defensively, right? Now, you know in today's NFL, most of the time on second and long when it's a passing situation, pass rushers are on the field and they're only thinking one thing, get to the quarterback. Oftentimes you can bypass him with a running play. And he's got the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 49. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. Now Haskins on first down. 20! That's complete to his receiver, McCord. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. 
Terry McLaurin, his fourth touchdown on the year as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. Hopkins with the extra point, and we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he will take it back only to about the 13-yard line here. Well, conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these teams, special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light theory. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. Here's Stafford. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. It's a gain of 10 for the Lions and a first down. First down. Johnson now, the fullback, and trying to push forward, but he is going to be stuffed up in the backfield. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. After a play like that, it should be congratulations all the way around, I think, because if you can stop a big fullback like that, that's not easily done. Yeah, he does not go down easily. You're right, but he did there. Second and 11 now. Jackson, they're going to set up the screen here. This is Grant. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Third down, Muhammad. First down for the Lions on a nice pickup of 18 yards. His first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And of course, remember back to their first drive, really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurtling through them. On first down, it's Logan. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease field and spilled the play. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. The Redskins now going to use the first of their three timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. shot as he tried to pull that one in couldn't hang on third down you get a tight end like this and you know he's used to dishing out punishment but here he's one that has to absorb the contact and as a result unable to hold on to the football on third down Jackson Escape and he goes down. It's Ryan Kerrigan getting the sack. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. 33 yards is the distance on the punt there. And it'll be Redskins football now with a first and 10. 
Out there, ready for this next drive, the Redskins offense. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown, and now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. Going with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Shotgun handoff now to Geis. Nine yards on the pickup there as he'll be left with third and one. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle, and oftentimes we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. They'll try and get it with Geis. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. And he's going to get it across the midfield stripe into Lion territory. Deron Harmon makes the tackle. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Now they'll look to Haskins to throw it. And that going to be incomplete. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. The Redskins on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This will be third and six. From the gun, Haskins on third down. And he comes back with one complete. 12 yards is the pickup, and it's good for a Washington first down. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you've got to run fast. Of course, you've got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness, there's a premium for all of that now. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Let's make these babies cry all the way back home. Let's make these babies cry all the way back home. Now Haskins to throw on second down. There goes a deep ball. in zone. And that going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. It's been my observation, there's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. The one with the dive look that time on defense just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. A 50-yard attempt. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. These kickers now, it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration, now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny? When we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right, baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the posts. 
The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Mike 56, Mike 56. 56 to Mike, boy, 56. Check 56. Play action. Now Jackson. James has got it. Complete. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. First down, Lions on a pickup of 13. I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide it. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Nine yards on the run there, and it will take us to the two-minute warning. Two minutes remaining in the first half, 10-7, our score. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman in the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. On second down, Muhammad. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Two yards, good enough for a first. Ordinarily in short yardage, most people don't run a toss because it takes a little bit longer to develop. But some teams see it as a very physical type run because the amount of people that get out in front of the runner, offensive linemen, tight ends, sometimes an extra back, they like to run that play there and try and run over people. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. Give him a couple on the catch at second and eight. And partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. To throw is Stafford. Throw left side complete. That's Logan. And this time not quite to the 30. He'll be down at the 31-yard line. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. On third and two, Stevens. This is Johnson. He's got it. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. I think the good offensive coordinators in the league now are looking at the fullback position and finding the right guys to hide in that spot and increase their passing game, as we just saw there. How about the run after catch? Racked him. Well, yeah, whether it's a true fullback, a tight end, you put in the fullback spot, you know they're going to be tough to bring down if you can get them the football in the passing game. And he's going to battle his way down right around the two-yard line. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? Watch Tyler, 64, weak. Five, five, now. Second and two. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Kenny Galladay, the intended receiver. But now it's third and goal. Now we've got third and goal coming up, and couldn't you imagine being in that huddle, partner? You know they're looking at each other saying, we can't come away with just three points after this drive. Yeah, they've covered a lot of ground. They want more than that three. Now do you put it in your quarterback's hands again? That's the question here on third and goal. They'll try to run this one in. 
Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. And the 12-year veteran knocks it right through, and that will knock things up here late in the first half. Well, maybe a nice psychological boost there just to get back to even with that field goal as we head towards half. Coaching 101 always says at halftime, play it like it's 0-0 on the scoreboard. Well, in this case, it's level, right? Same score each side. Just start over. Now you've got the second half to play. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. Time here for likely one play, and then these two teams will head to the locker room all even. And you know the play call is just feeling it right now. Let's go ahead and go for this one. A big shot down. No, no, no. Guaranteed head coach is like, don't get crazy. Take the knee. Let's get out of here. Tie game. We'll just start all over. Here's second and ten now from about the 32. Here we go, dude. Here I come. Here I come. Check three. Check three. Check three. Go, go. Hey, check. Mike 21. Mike 21. Check Mike 21. Check, check, check. Shut up. Final play of the half. It's Haskins. And a diving grab. I think he got that. Yes. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. shot before break. Haskins. And he's going to go down. Couldn't get brings us to the end of his first half of play. So we have reached halftime here at a good one. 10-10 is our score. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half all tied on the scoreboard. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll probably wish he'd reconsidered here. It will cost him 10 yards as he's down at the 15. Well, conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these team special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light. Play. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Yes. Moving backwards on first down, never a good thing. What does that do for the mindset on second down? Well, it changes your play call, definitely, because as a play call, you're advancing yourself, thinking, okay, we're going to get a gain here. Now you've got to go back in reverse, come up with something to pick up not just the yardage lost, but gain a few extra. On second and 11 now, Stafford. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 28. And he will take this down to the 10-yard line. And that interception sets them up beautifully already in the red zone. And you can hear it all the way up here. Oski, Oski, everyone turned to block, find a spot. And now they're set up inside the red zone for their offense. Now after the turnover, here's Haskins. That's caught. It's Thomas. And he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. Logan Thomas, his first touchdown on the year. As his guys are able to regain the lead. Extra point good by Hopkins. And that makes it a 17-10 score. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee, as he'll start at the 21-yard line.
The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They find themselves down 17-10 as they come up on a first and 10. They'll run on first down. Muhammad. Ryan Kerrigan in on the tackle. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the, play. Now the ball comes loose, and the Redskins scoop it. And he'll take this back down inside the 20. Well, he did what he's known for. He made the catch, then he turned into a runner, took the contact, and coughed it up. And all I remember as a player, when they catch the ball, when those acrobatic guys catch it, you have to make them pay sometimes. You have to put it on them, big tackle, knock the ball free. Anything you can do to slow them down. 18 yards that time to push him up first and goal. I actually love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. And he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers. They're usually known as quicker than fast. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Redskins. Darius Geis, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Redskins capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. Hopkins with the extra point and the lead now up to 14. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20 yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over, the other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Now they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. So they had the big loss on that first down pass play and facing a second and long. They'll try the left side. Swift. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. He'll get two yards back, but it's going to leave him with a long third and 13. They'll keep it on the ground. Swift. And he's going to be taken down about a yard shy of the first at the 29. They do get 12, but they'll be marked short. And that leads to a fourth down. It's now fourth down. And how about this one now? In their own territory, a gutsy call. They're going to go for this on fourth and a yard. They'll try and run for it. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And the Redskins will take control of the football in great field position. On first down, it's Haskins. He gets it in the hands of Geis. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it. Indeed, here come the flags. They give him the yardage on the pass and half the distance to the goal line. Because they're inside the 30. So now you don't march off the full 15, right? You have half the distance to the goal. In any event, that's precious real estate given up. Following the penalty, it's Geis. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. A nice pickup of six there to get him closer to the end zone, and it'll be second and goal. 
Second and goal from the one. Come on, D. You go tight. You got tight. You got tight right there. Hey, it's a six. Go to the half. Kill, 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 kill. Check, check. Boom, boom. On the ground, Geis, and he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. Well, they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? Where's 52? Watch 52. 52 is the mic. Hey, he's up. On third and goal, Haskins. And this is taken in for a Redskins touchdown. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Redskins are able to stretch the lead out further. And down near the goal line here, they're able to throw it in. And the key word, quick. Quick hitter out of his hands fast, into the receiver's hands even faster. Extra point good by Hopkins. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Fielded about a yard deep. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. The Lions take over first and 10 at their own 20 yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. A big play there for Detroit. 41 yards. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. Jackson from the shotgun. And his throw is incomplete. The touch and time here are critical for those types of throws. He put a lot of zip on that one. Needed just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Go, go. <laughs> to throw again, Stafford. And his throw here is incomplete. Ronald Darby that time, the one who got a hand in and knocked it free. And we just saw another example. These cornerbacks have played tight coverage all game long. Might start wanting to think about a few double, triple move routes to try and shake their guys free. They have, you're right, they have had no room to breathe. So now third and 10, a big play to start the drive, but nothing since. Again, Jackson. And Jackson cannot get away, and he'll go down. The sack by Ronald Darby coming from the corner. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. Now. On fourth down, Stevens. He's going to go for a big play downfield. And they will not be able to hook up there. It's incomplete. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And this defense will take over right at midfield. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. They'll try to get this running game going with Geis. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. He rifles one that's intercepted. 
picked off by Justin Coleman. And his guys are going to have the football back as the back now at FedEx Field. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. After the interception, here's Jackson. He's going to try and go deep again. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. It's been this way most of the afternoon, hasn't it? This secondary, they really put this receiving core on lockdown. Listen, they've worked together like a basketball team is playing excellent defense. Great communication, doesn't matter whether it's man or zone. And especially against deep balls, as we saw there, they're not giving up anything to them. Now this throw caught left side. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. Kenny Galladay, his second touchdown on the season. And thanks to the interception, the Lions offense cashes in with six. Extra point good by Prater, and that will get him one closer. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And this is going to be covered up by the Redskins. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. And I think we can get used to seeing more of that in this fourth quarter, especially if they're having success on the ground like they did there. Yeah, I think back when we met with the head coach in, in preseason, and all he talked about was building a bully. And I think it was this situation he was envisioning, trying to ice a game, plenty of time left, but being able to give the ball to his big runner and pound away and try and finish off the game. Now left side on the swing pass. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And that'll make it third down. Here's Haskins out of the gun. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender is making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant you the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. So with that, you figure uh, this game's pretty much out of reach at this point. Yeah, it's going to take a heck of a comeback to come from three scores down. But don't change that channel. Don't go away. Miracles can happen, and you want to be here in case it does. You're a company man. Now, aren't I, though? The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked on by Thomas Davis. And it's a tremendous return as they finally get him at about the 10-yard line. That's now his second interception in as many weeks from his linebacker position. And think about all the different techniques he has to employ in a passing situation. Is he spot dropping because it's zone? Is he picking up man-to-man? -man? Is he having to run with a running back or a tight end? In any event, great eyes, head on a swivel, and excellent hands. Yeah, versatility and showing those hands. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Three yards is the gain that time. Second and goal. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. 
out of the gun. Geis. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you you're, two. <laughs> you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. Mike 52, Mike 52. And here we go. Watch the, watch the pass. Watch the pass. 52 is the mic, boys. 52. From the gun on third down, Haskins. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. A five-yard touchdown. And the Redskins capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. Hopkins with the extra point, And the lead is now 24. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. On the ready. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. A very solid gain of 27. On first and 10, Stevens. This into the hands of Marvin Hall, complete. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. Two chunk plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. On first down, Stevens looking for the end zone. He's got his man. It's caught for a Lion touchdown. T.J. Hawkinson, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Lions are able to cut into this lead. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. It's just me and you. It's just me and you. Again, it's Stafford. He's got it. So they convert the two. That keeps their slim hopes alive as we're back to a two-score game. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And this is going to be covered up by the Redskins. The risk-reward of the onside kick. When you don't get it, the risk comes out to play. And here they gave up great field position. And that's the key to everything because you're trying your best to press advantages when you have them. And field position leads you to that type of play calling. And whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball deep, those types of things, now that they've given up that type of field position, the advantage has switched to their opponent. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Play action, Haskins. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold out of that one, and it's third down. So he can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. All right, you know a coach said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player, not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It was way too tight, unable to find anyone open. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And this one's out of bounds. Should be inside the 10, I think it is, at the six-yard line. So well done there. And these punters, they get more specialized and better each and every year, don't they? They sure do. And now it's really not the American punters. It's the Australian punters with their kicking academies and that flat drop and just kind of kicking the nose of the football. They're able to almost stop it where they want to, like a good golfer can check one up. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. Down under two minutes to go in this football game. An incomplete and excellent play downfield. Should have been picked off, really. But second down instead. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Second 
second and ten. Here's Jackson again. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he's going to get this from the six out to the 12. A pickup of six as they double their workspace. They face a third and four after that last completion gets them six. Play action. It's Jackson. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. Picked up by Eli Apple. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. So it goes as a fumble, but the key thing, not a fumble loss. Yeah, that, that stat's big, isn't it? I mean, I remember watching teams play. The ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game, but the other team doesn't get it. That's a huge difference in the ball game. And in this case, they were able to retain possession. He's going to let it fly. And that's caught inside the 35. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with a minute six left to go in the game. So that changes things in a big way. Now from all the way down inside the 30, here's first and 10. Operating from the gun, Stevens. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Fair to say the secondary play, whichever side you're on, hasn't really been a glowing exhibition so far, but a nice job there to prevent a long completion. I agree with you, but at some point, someone had to make a play and try and stop this exhibition of almost speed racing that we've been watching, huh? Yeah, it has been quarterback and receiver dominated. Jackson now on second and 10. And he'll find Hall. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. 23 yards on the play. Jackson will throw again. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. Touchdown, his first career hey, touchdown hey, pass, hey, and yeah, you know, it's cliche to say, but he's probably been envisioning this since he was a little kid. That's a cool moment. It really is. So enjoy the moment, enjoy the time, celebrate, save the full reflection for later, but make sure you grab someone on the sidelines and say, hey, make sure I get that football, okay? And that almost makes it a brand new ball game. Now it's a one-score affair after they get the two. And you have to know they were holding their breath on the two-point play because they had to have it to get it within the range that you just talked about. Dialed up their two-point play. It worked. Now they're feeling like they've got a shot at this one. On first down, this is Geis. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts. As he'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Again, they run. Again, it's Geis. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here. And a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. The penalty moves him into the red zone here on first and ten. Haskins to throw. And finding the tight end, Wilson. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. And the Lions quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as he'll stop him with 13 seconds left to play. Second and 12 after the first down pass play went backwards for two yards. And he's able to work it here to the eight yard line. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. 